I'm doing like 65 and mind you it's hot it's like 105 or whatever and I just hear like I just hear doo. Alright guys, heading out to Eastern Washington. Got four drops tomorrow. Today's Sunday. But uh, I don't want to put in all that work tomorrow. I'd rather just take off tonight. It's pretty hot today. It's like 100 degrees today. I'd rather take off tonight. It's a three hour ride over there. Almost four get good sleep tonight wake up first thing and get unloaded um probably a better call doing it that way so i can uh have less miles tomorrow like i said way less more miles tomorrow nice little easy trip over tonight we'll take it real easy on the motor uh, it is hot today i got some climbing to do so we'll be real easy on her because i'm not in a hurry today so majority of the climbing with the majority of the weight will be real slow on it so anyways just did my little pre-trip gave her some coolant and uh we're gonna turn the music on and let me get going man load is not the prettiest so i don't even want to show you guys but uh thank god for my little window oh 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 I gotta redo the ground on this thing. So I'm grounding out to like the the screws on each one of these and it's not really a good connection. I'm gonna, re I would have to redo that. But uh, thank God for my rear window because I can always look back and make sure uh, if I got a loose chain or if I got something in there that doesn't look quite right, I can just easily, you know, fix that. But let's get to it, man. Sunsetter right now. There's the island we usually go to. You can see the tide rolling in over there. Oh well. Always next week. Just had to do a little detour. Go around. Uh, there was a little accident. So kind of a better shot of the island this way anyway. to record but hey good morning guys i've already got two of the four drops off today we're just flowing uh they were pretty easy so i should have recorded the first drop that would have been like more of a cool scenery and just seeing the outside overhead cranes unload me but man you guys get the point it's all good bringing you guys along anyway so got my breakfast just a banana right now and uh i am on the hunt for a starbucks so uh i'll keep you guys updated just made it to richland these guys just got a couple pieces just waiting on them to come out guy over here is super jazzed on the truck he he's actually going to grab his truck he's got a tacoma he wants to park it next to mine just to see what they look like next to each other, so.
chain her back down and let's go to LeGrand. Sweet Tacoma. get some videos climbing it but I'm trying to pay attention to like temperatures and stuff it's so hot it's like it was like 95 when I was climbing just trying to pay attention to that and want to be distracted um, but on the way back down I'll try to get some footage of that for you guys because that that uh there is some pretty cool scenery dropping back down so we're about a half an hour away from uh Le Grand and give these guys the rest of this material hopefully they got a big forklift and they can get me offloaded quickly um, and then after that I'm gonna look for some food man I'm starving I didn't find the Starbucks so I lucked out on that but I'm okay with not getting coffee I just I'm really hungry so we'll see what we uh, see what we find No matter if I'm empty or loaded, anytime I'm coming down a pass, I always say like a small, you know, prayer and keep positive thoughts in my head just coming down these passes, man. Like, we're never um, perfect, you know what I mean? Like, it, all, any, anything could happen. So, like, even though I'm empty and I'm coming back down cabbage, you know, everything should be just fine. I always kind of say like a little prayer in my head and like, you know, you never know, man. Like you literally never know what may happen out here on this road. We are driving things that are mechanical. Things go wrong. So I always just, just, just say that little prayer in my head and uh, keep positive thoughts. And I always just ask God to, you know, take me down the hill safely. You know what I mean? I mean, I do it so often. I just never take any time going down the hill for granted. That's it. That's all I got to say.
Well, guys, I'm cruising down the freeway and uh, I got my music loud, whatever. I'm doing like 65, and mind you, it's hot. It's like 105 or whatever. And I just hear like, I just hear doo. And I, I've heard that before, the tire blow out. I didn't feel anything. I just kept kind of driving just, just so I can get in a safe place. And I mean, this ain't even really a safe place, but it's better. But I can't seem to find what it was. And I know I didn't run anything over. I mean, I would have had to, I guess, because all the tires are aired up. No freaking idea, but uh, thank God it's not a blowout because it's hot as shit out here. I'm not trying to sit out here all day. So uh, about an hour from the house, we're going to keep on rolling, and I'm going to play it safe. Kind of run a little bit slower. Yeah. Look at Dash is saying 109. Now that I'm just like trying to replay what happened. I mean, maybe, cool truck, maybe just across the, you know, highway, I just, maybe a truck blew a tire across the highway and I heard it from over here. I mean, I, I really don't know what happened, but the tires are all aired up and fine. So, I mean, I got all my airbags. <laughs> I'm not leaking or, or leaning to one side or something. So, I, fuck, I don't know. Whatever. So I think I found my culprit. Uh, yeah, this has got to be it. So there must have been a, a gator in the road that I didn't notice. And she got me. At least it didn't bend. I know I can kind of, I know that'll just come right off. Yeah, see, that's, that'll, it'll come off. I got to get them repainted anyway. So not tripping. So, not a big deal there. I just, I was worried that something bad happened. I mean, it didn't bend it at all, so we're good. It's not bent, is it? No, it's not bent. I know these fenders kind of bow in the center. That's the way the brackets are, but, ah, man. All right, that's it, guys. Um, quick and easy one today. Thank you guys for watching. Oh God, <laughs> uh, let me, uh, I have an overinflate valve and sometimes it gets stuck and I gotta reach my hand in there and kind of bring it back down. But uh, <laughs> anyways, as always guys, I appreciate you guys for watching. Appreciate you uh, new subscribers. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one.